In this video, we'll walk through the process of importing and transforming an After Effects composition. The import process is very straightforward. With Titler Live open, you simply click File, Import, After Effects, or right-click anywhere in the Layers list and select Import, After Effects. The browser window that opens will show After Effects projects, or AEPs for short, and Motion Graphics templates, or MoGERTs. We'll select the file we want to import. If the file contains more than one composition, you'll be prompted to select which comp you wish to import. Then the AEP or MoGert will load in the layers list, and After Effects will begin rendering the various layers that are required for playback in Titler Live. By default, the After Effects projects are scaled to fit your Titler Live project resolution and the output frame rate. This makes the import process quick and convenient for most use cases but sometimes you may want to have precise control over the scale and position of the imported composition. In this event, we have a couple of options. First, we'll look at the Transform tab in the Layer Properties panel. Here, we will find a few basic controls. Position Offset will allow me to offset the horizontal and vertical coordinates of my layer from the imported position, and you can see it is controlled by pixel values. There is also a scale control for the layer, but as you can see, it is disabled because my composition is being automatically scaled to fit the project dimensions. If I uncheck that box, I can now modify the scale. Width and height values are linked by default, but I can scale them independently if I click the link icon here. And of course, I can always restore defaults by clicking Reset Values. If I'm not concerned with precise adjustments, I can also make freehand modifications to the layer's scale and position in the preview panel. Double-clicking an object in preview will also restore default values. Now you've seen how to import an After Effects composition and make adjustments to scale and position as needed. Please see the other videos in this tutorial series for more information on preparing your graphics for Titler Live and controlling data in your After Effects layers.